Hi everyone, my name is Giovanna Proença and today we're going to talk about Problem Set 2 Nutrition Facts of CS50 Introduction to Programming with Python. If you have any question regardless of programming or about your career, schedule a free meeting with us, the link is in the description. And we would like to emphasize that this video solution is made for those who have already finished the assignment and want to have another view about the problem, all right? We do not support plagiarism. So basically, in this problem here, we're going to implement a program that prompts the user to input a fruit, all right? And then outputs the number of calories in one portion of that fruit, per the FDA's poster for fruits. Capitalization aside, assume that users will input fruits exactly as written in the poster. Ignore any input that isn't a fruit. So what we're gonna do in here? So basically we're going to ask the user for a fruit, like we can see here, item, an apple, and we're gonna output how many calories this portion of fruit is, all right? So how we're gonna implement this idea? They ask us to use dictionaries, all right? So do you see here, rather than use a conditional with 20 Boolean expression, one for each fruit, better to use a dictionary to associate a fruit with its calories, all right? So we're gonna use here a dictionary, all right? So before we use the dictionary, let's understand what we're gonna do. So we're gonna create a dictionary with all fruits and its calories, then we're gonna get the user input, then we're gonna loop through every fruit in our dictionary and we're gonna check if the fruit asked is the same as the fruit we're looping at that moment, all right? And if it is, we're gonna print the calorie, all right? So before we start, we know that here we have the poster of FDA about fruits, all right? And we have to store this information somewhere. So before we start storing in a dictionary, let's understand how dictionary works, all right? So basically in here, like we can see in W3Schools, this is a really good resource if you want to know more about uh, Python or other languages, all right? They explain you every, every little thing, every little concept about that language. So here we can see that dictionaries are used to store data values in key value pairs. A dictionary is a collection which is stored, which is ordered, changeable, and do not allow duplicates, all right? So we normally put here the name, this dict, okay? And we use equals and curly brackets. Bracket, all right, we must use curly bracket here. This is how Python understands that we are working with a dictionary. Then, do you see here, this is the key value pair, all right? So every line that we have ins here inside the curly bracket is a specific item in our dictionary, all right? So what is a key value pair? The key is the left part here, all right, before the colon, and the value is after the colon, okay? So if we want to reach the brand, if we want to reach Ford, we know that Ford is a branch. So branch Ford is one pair, key pair. Model Mustang is another key value pair. And the year 1964 is another key value pair. All right, so remember, the key is always in the left part of the colon and the right part is always the value. So let's see this example. We have a variable called phone book that holds the key value pair of the name of some people and their phone numbers. If we want to print the phone number of Leo, we should print using the key name. So, in our case, we would do phone book Leo. So now that we saw how it worked, let's just start implementing here, all right? So I already created here a dictionary with all the fruits we have in our PDF, okay? So here you're gonna put apple and the calorie, avocado and the calorie, and so on and so forth until you put all the 20 fruits, okay? So I already implemented here, I created a dictionary called fruits, and again, I put, I open up the curly bracket, and here I have my key value pairs. So my key for all the lines are the name of the, the fruits, all right? And my values are the calories. So for example, here I know that apple has 130 uh, calories, avocado has 50 calories, banana has 110 calories, and so on and so forth, all right? So this is the first step, creating a dictionary to store all the fruits and its calories, okay? Now we are going to do the get user input. So before we do this, let's understand how the input function works. 
Basically, the function input allows us to ask questions to the user and the answer that the user typed in we can store in a variable. For example, if we want to ask the name of the user, we can do username equals to input what's your name and it will be prompt in the terminal. The user can write his name. If the user types in Giovanna, the variable username will start Giovanna. Since the answer is stored in a variable, we can use this answer in our code. So now that we saw how the input function works, let's start implementing here in our code, all right? So basically, we have to store the whatever the user type in in our variable, okay? So to do this, I'm gonna put here fruit ask it and I'm gonna use here the input function all right and what will be the message that I'm gonna display it will be item colon all right so we're gonna do here item colon okay so let's see if I print here fruit ask it we're gonna see this working okay so if we do python nutrition dot py and I put here banana and we're printing banana because the fruit ask it variable is storing whatever the user type it in Okay, now we need, now that we have the fruit that we're looking for in our hands, now we're going to loop through the dictionary to find what is the respective calorie, all right? So to do this, let's understand how loop works. Here we have this, again, the w 3 schools, all right, where we have this loop through a dictionary. You can loop through a dictionary by using a for loop. When looping through a dictionary, the return value are the keys of the dictionaries, but there are methods to return the values as well. So we can do this notation here for x in this dict and then we're gonna print x. And why this dict? Because this dict is the name of the dictionary that we have, all right? So this dict here is the name of the dictionary. We do for x, x can be any variable and this dict is the name of the variable, the dictionary we wanna loop through, all right? And here we're printing the keys. Let's use the same phone book dictionary that we used before to understand this example. If we want to print all key names in the dictionary one by one, we can simply do for key in phone book, where the word key can be any word or letter that you desire. Then we just need to print the variable key. So here we have phone book and the name of everyone and its phone number. And if we do for key in phone book, print key, we're gonna print G, Leo, and Bob. If we want to print all value names in the dictionary one by one, we can simply do the same loop we did before, but now using the key variable to access the value in the dictionary. So right now we're going to do for key in phone book again, but instead of printing key, we're gonna print phone book square brackets key. And now we can see that we're printing the respective phone number number for everyone. So now that we understood how to do for loops in dictionary, let's start applying this idea, okay? So I'm gonna do here for, and I'm gonna use the word key, all right? This word key, you can choose whatever word you want. In, and the name of our dictionary in this case is fruits. So I'm gonna put here, so for key in fruits, all right, and let's print key. Let's see what we have here as output, okay? So if I do here python nutrition.py, we're going to see here, if I put banana, we're going to see here printed all the key all the keys that we have in our dictionary, all right? And what if we want to print the value? I'm going to use here the name of the, the dictionary, 